All right, so here's a motor that I had been wanting to check out. This is the my RC Martz RCX NK2204 2400KV. So this motor is rather small compared to all, all of the big motors that we've been uh, getting lately, like the 2207s, 2306, 2507s, etc. Et so this one came out uh, some time ago. I guess the main purpose was for a very light build on 5 inch. Uh, so 2204s have not been popular uh, lately because everybody everybody's going to the big motors, but then there was a uh, there's been some interest in very uh, ultralight builds, so I guess that that's where this motor comes in. KV is kind of like mid low KV, uh, 2400, and the size, of course, is uh, fairly small, small stator 2204. But the one thing with this motor is that it's got all the bells and whistles, all, all the latest features, you know, that we've been coming to expect from all the new motors. Uh, so it's got a uh, arc magnets and the uh, one piece shaft uh, uh, 7075 aluminum construction all around and the uh, large bearings actually and as you can see there's also a shaft retaining screw there so that's that's pretty cool so it's a full feature motor but in a small size uh, actually a size that hasn't been uh, that popular lately so so pretty interesting uh, motor from from RCX I think they on, they're only offering this one KV 2400 KV so as you see uh, pretty typical styling from uh, RCX uh, most of their motors have kind of like the similar uh, the similar pattern on the spokes here on the bell uh, just a minimal four spokes to keep it light and uh, uh, now they're going, uh, this was one of the first ones with the naked bottom actually. Uh, then later on, a few weeks later, uh, uh, the 2306 came out and now the 2207s are coming out. Uh, they're just being released recently. Uh, so those other two motors I also tested, the results are on the channel. Uh, just look for them. Uh, pretty good performing motors as well. The NK2306 uh, I believe is 24. 400 or 2500 I forget and the other one is a 2700 and similar KVs for the 2207 so those those other motors also perform quite well uh, alright so let's uh, let me take that out actually I'm noticing that's the kind of screw that I, I actually like the most uh, it's a button head screw so it's got pretty deep socket and it's a pretty strong screw so it's gonna be more difficult to round it off you know to mess it up so those screws are pretty good some other motors they use like a, a shallower head so there's not much uh, material and the they don't they're harder to get out so this one seems the Loctite they're using is not that bad it's uh, it, you can feel the Loctite but it's not overly hard and pretty good size screw so that, that's a good screw to use and there's the, the brass washer yeah that's a fully hollow shaft actually all the way through so that's that's pretty good there we go and I'm also noticing that's one of those nice beefy bearings. That's a four by nine by four bearing. So that's good. Yeah, that's a nine millimeter bearing. So so more than enough bearing for this motor. Should make this motor very durable, I think. So once the screws out, we can pull the bell out. And these magnets are pretty strong and let's have a look on their, the magnifying glass so we can have a closer look alright so there's the stator and pretty neat windings uh, those are multi-strand wires and it looks like in bundles of two and there you can see the really good ESO bearings pretty beefy 4 by 9 by 4 
so that should make this more motor quite durable especially because uh, uh, the shaft uh, it only has to traverse a, uh, a four, it's only a four millimeter height stator so it's gonna be a short shaft so there's gonna be a lot less uh, stress on these uh, on these bearings so so that's gonna be uh, those are gonna be those should be pretty durable I think uh, nice and beefy base actually and wires are pretty neat they're nicely tucked in so nothing uh, nothing really hanging out uh, so that's that's good uh, they should be pretty pretty well protected I think and there's the laminations look looks like a point two millimeters so this motor is pretty much packing all the all the features all the latest tech features and shaft is one piece hardened steel uh, it is magnetic so so that's uh, that should be hardened steel I think and yeah, there's a nice texture there for the uh, for the prop so that that's good 20 millimeter gauge wire uh, for the motor leads all right so let's put this back together and uh, I'll put it on the scale see how much it weighs one other thing that uh, I really like about RCX motors is that the bearings they fit snugly they're not loose they just fit uh, really snug but they they're pretty easy to to remove to pop out so I like it when motors have uh, those bearings that are that pop out easily very easy to change okay so let's put uh, this motor back together I'll put the retaining screw back on and I'll put it on the on the scale see how much it weighs and then onto the thrust stand Alright, so let's see what it weighs. That's uh, 150 millimeters of uh, 20 gauge wire. So with that much wire, it comes in at 25.4. And so if we cut the wire to about 50 millimeters, then we get rid of that much. Uh, so 2.4, we get, get rid of 2.4 so that's like about 23 grams with uh, 50 millimeters of wire so Alright, so those were the thrust test results for the NK2204-2950 kV. As you saw, the motor is uh, considerably lower in kV as I measured at 2700 kV. So that's quite a bit of difference from the claim kV. But still, the motor performed quite well. All across the board on 4 and 5 inch props, if you compare it to the 2400 kV version of this motor, uh, the max thrust is about... 20% higher while the amps are about 30% more at max 
but at the 700 uh, gram mark and that's just an arbitrary number that uh, that I pick the difference in max amp is only about seven percent so it's not that much more inefficient so uh, that's not too bad uh, only at the max is when you see the the big difference in amps so overall a very good motor you can compare these results to the 2400 kV version that I tested a few months ago so when I tested that motor I mentioned to uh, RCX that uh, it would be a good idea to make a higher kV version of this motor as you saw from the teardown it's a very well built motor pretty sturdy with a four millimeter shaft and uh, people have been saying that uh, they do like this 2204 motor I also got the 2700 kV version so I'll be testing that one soon, so keep an eye out for that test. All right, so those are the thrust test results. So overall, a pretty good motor, I think, for those ultralight builds, four inch and five inch with the bi-blade props. On three blade, possibly on 3S, it could be good. Uh, on 4S, I don't know if the motor is gonna withstand the load. Of course, this is static with the 5043 by 3 as you see there, it's quite high amps. But if you're running a very light frame, a very ultra light build, uh, the props are going to unload quite a lot. So the max amps are going to be considerably less, uh, up to 40% probably. So it, it should be able to handle uh, the 5040 by 3 but anyways always good idea to check uh, motor temps. So be interesting to see how people are using this motor. Alright, uh, thanks for watching and until the next video.